Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video, doing Jeremy Friday for today's second video. So, as always on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the uh, month ahead for the Japanese and the CFS Meet Mars. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first. The video really serves our 6 7 UK weather forecast as a 10 to 14 day with all our breaking features coming up today on Saturday as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gals Weatherby. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, week one 500 millibar height along from the Arctic and the North Pole view down. So this would be uh, North Pole just here. Got the wider Arctic circle around there. And then got mid latitudes through here, roughly. So blue is extrapolating to below average height, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red to above average height, which is high pressure. We should break it down into week periods. The first week period will take us from today the 19th through to the 26th of April. So the uh, coming week we'll have high pressure in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland and a trough of low pressure to our south and east. That will draw the wind in from more of a north or northeasterly direction. So it's relatively cool and for eastern regions rather showery as well. Driest weather will be of course in the north and west with that pattern. Week 2 is going to be the 26th of April to the 3rd of May. Again, we see a mid-Atlantic ridge and a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland with a trough of low pressure across the west of Europe. And again, that draws a wind in from more of a northeasterly direction. Again, most of the set weather will be in the south of the east, dries to the northwest, but all areas could be a little bit on the showery side, actually, with that. And then weeks three and four will take us from the 3rd through to the 17th of May with high pressure out to the west of the UK and Ireland and a trough of low pressure in over Scandinavia that could well draw the wind in from more of a northerly direction. So overall looking rather cool, I have to say, for the next four weeks. Let's confirm that with the tropical and mid latitude views. So we can't see um, Greenland, the Arctic, Iceland, Scandinavia, all, all those areas off a chart up here. We're at the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it, perched on the edge. So reminder of the week one, um, 500 millibar height anomaly from the 19th to 26th of April with a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards uh, Greenland and a trough of low come over here over on the continent. That will probably force the wind in to a northeasterly type direction, we thought. Temperature anomaly then is coming out a little bit below average, especially so for England and Wales, slightly on the cold and average side. Notice most parts of the continent are looking uh, quite cold there as well. And as far as precipitation is concerned, it's largely on the drier side. But I think eastern regions could be a little bit showery, um, you know, prone to those northeasterly winds. But most areas are actually coming out with average or drier than average precipitation. Week 2 is going to be the 26th of April to the 3rd of May. Again, we see a trough of below edge heights, low pressure to our south and east. With an, with an area of high pressure in the Atlantic, that probably brings the wind in from the northeast direction once again. Temperature anomalies are predicted to be below average again um, as we go into the beginning of May. So slightly colder than average temperature anomalies there. And as far as precipitation is concerned, it's a little bit on the drier than average side, actually. So average to slightly drier normal again and then week three and four will be the third through to the 17th of may with higher pressure in the atlantic we can't see the trough of low pressure but it's up here really and uh, that will bring the wind in probably from more of a northerly direction if anything temperature anomalies return to about average not particularly big deviation um either way there so uh Close to average, maybe slightly above even. I think it could be a little bit cooler than that, though. And possibly a little bit more showery as well, rather above average precipitation, especially so for more eastern regions. Well, that's the JMA done. Let's have a look at the CFS B2, see how that compares. Again, these are 500 millibar height and I'm going to break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 19th to 26th, 25th of April. So the uh, next week has high pressure again, out to west, low pressure to our south and east, perfect agreement between the two models actually, with winds coming in from a northeasterly uh, direction. A lot of dry weather, but it could be a little bit showery for more southern and eastern regions. Week two 
will be the 26th of April to the 2nd of May. Quite a deep trough of low pressure across many parts of Europe. A ridge out in the Atlantic. Again, that might bring the wind in to more of a northerly or northeasterly direction. Again, all of rub cool and showering. Good agreement between the two models. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 3rd to the 9th of May. High pressure band up towards Scandinavia. That could pull the wind into more of an easterly, possibly. And then, uh, lastly, week 4 is going to be the 10th through to 16th of May with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. And around that, we bring the wind in from, a north, from an easterly or northeasterly direction. Temperature anomalies for uh, week 1, uh, which is the 19th to the 25th of May, are uh, looking a little bit below average, especially so for England and Wales. Most parts of the continent as well looking very cold, you know, compared to average anyway, for the week ahead. Um, week 2 is the 26th of April to the 2nd of May. That one also coming out uh, rather below average. Again, most parts of uh, Europe looking quite cold again compared to average for uh, week 2. Week 3, which is going to be the 3rd through to the 9th of May, shows a little bit of a warm-up, only return to average really. And most parts of uh, Europe again are looking rather on the cold of an average side. And then finally, week four gets us to the 10th through to 16th of May. And that one does go more significantly, more substantially above average. So eventually, when we get into May, we do see a bit of an um, increase in the temperature. But the next couple of weeks, certainly looking quite cold. And as far as precipitation goes, week one, 19th, 25th of April, that's coming out uh, drier than average, drier than average week to come. Week two is the 26th of April, through to the 2nd of May, with uh, near normal precipitation, possibly still a little bit on the drier side, though. Week 3 is going to be the 3rd through to the 9th of May, close to average, maybe slightly on the drier side. And then finally, week 4 is the 10th through to the 16th of May. And uh, that one is also coming out slightly on the drier than average side. And uh, Scandinavia is included in that as well. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty chilly couple of weeks to come, actually, <laughs> and uh, maybe see an increase in temperature into May. Although, with the position of the high pressure up towards Scandinavia, that's not really given, I don't think, but it's going to warm up a great deal. Um, and definitely, like, the next couple of weeks, anyway, looking really quite cool. So the rest of April, anyway, uh, pretty cool with Jeremy Friday today. Remember, just a snapshot of what model is show, models are showing. Could look completely different when looking at them again. Uh, next week, any forecast on five, seven days comes with... Big health warnings and large pinch of start attacks. That's always the caveat. Um, so uh, we'll find out tomorrow what the East Sem doing. 42 day I've got to say about all of this, of course. We're going to be back a little bit later on with your 10 to 14 day. So come back for that. For Jeremy Friday for this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.